what is happening in the occupied Palestinian territory is about gas and oil, period. The occupied Palestinian territory lies above sizable reservoirs of oil and natural gas wealth. There you go. Israel wants that power. Hamas wants that power. It's powers fighting powers, using Jewish adherents and Muslims as pawns. Know this as a Muslim so you can be free, so you can be in the peace completely. The first Gulf War. Saddam lighting his gas fields, his oil fields on fire. 10 years later, 9-11 happened. But hey, let's also go into Iraq. 10 years from then, the Arab Spring and the air spring was killed in Syria. Do you know why? Look up the Islamic pipeline. And then 10 years from then, the Israel-Hamas conflict. Peace. Salam. Assalamu alaikum. May God's peace be upon us. So, what you just heard is something that I didn't say yet. So I'm going to talk about something that's sort of controversial if you don't know how the world works. And it's about the Israel-Palestine conflict. And I wanna to talk to Muslims in order to keep Muslims in the peace completely. And this is a command by God. Be in the peace completely. And to stay in the peace completely and be in the peace completely with what is happening in the occupied Palestinian territory is to know that the Israel-Palestine conflict that is happening right now has nothing to do with you being Muslim. The Israel-Palestine conflict has nothing to do with Islam, Judaism, Muslims versus Jewish adherents, Jewish adherents versus Muslims. It has nothing to do with that. What is happening in that region of the world what is happening in the occupied Palestinian territory is about gas and oil, period. And I don't even need to know the details. I just know how the world works. I know how powers work, how powers bump heads and fight over having power. And the underlying reason is fear, but fear makes people gravitate towards power. So there are powers in the occupied Palestinian territory that are fighting over a lottery ticket. And that lottery ticket is gas and oil. And I don't even need to know the details, but I know that's how the world works. Look it up. What I'll do is I'll go duck, duck, go some information and I'll put that information at the end. I'll just share some titles of some articles to prove what I'm saying is right. And Muslims need to know this because Muslims are thinking that the Israel-Palestine conflict has something to do with Jewish adherence versus Muslims, and it doesn't. Powers are fighting each other using Jewish adherents and Muslims as pawns in their fight. And I'm not saying either side should be doing it or not doing it. I'm talking about just how the world works. So Israel wants that power. And the power will be the power that's coming from the gas and oil. And Hamas wants that power. 
and Hamas wants that power that is going to come from that gas and oil. And Israel, rightly so, wants the power because they don't want Hamas to have the power. Because what will Hamas do? At least from what we're being told. They will wipe Israel off the map. And what is Israel trying to do? <laughs> wipe Palestinians off the map. It's powers fighting powers. Using Jewish adherents and Muslims as pawns. Know this as a Muslim so you can be free. So you can be in the peace completely. Know this. And I don't need to know the details. I'll let someone who is more into finding these details out talk about it. Actually, I'll make this video where you can use part of this video. I don't know how to do that, but I'll figure it out. Because this needs to be shared. Look, I know this from the early 90s. So in the early 90s, I remember the first Gulf War. And I remember being told that we need to go blow up Iraq. It wasn't said like that, but that was the goal. And I remember Saddam lighting his gas fields, his oil fields on fire. And I thought, why would he do that? We saw that gas and oil. And I learned because he knew why he was being attacked for that gas and oil. Not for freedom, not for democracy in Iraq, none of that. That didn't come until later when 9-11 happened. After 9-11, that's when we need to make Iraq a democracy. That was the spiel then. So that was in the early 90s. And then 10 years later, 9-11 happened. And what happened? We went to Afghanistan, but hey, let's also go into Iraq. <laughs> Yeah, and now, 10 years from then, what happened? Do you know? The Arab Spring, you think the Arab Spring just happened? No, that's not how the powers play the game, no. And the Arab Spring was killed in Syria. Do you know why? Look it up. Look up the Islamic pipeline. That's one thing. And then 10 years from then, what's happening? <laughs> the Israel Hamas conflict. It has something to do with gas and oil. And I'll go duck, duck, go some information and put some titles in this video. So someone who is into knowing the details will possibly make a video about it and share the details. And I'll put that right here. All right. So as promised, I'm at duck. Duck go. Where's duck duck go? Right there. And what I'm going to do is just share two articles. So I'm going to push in Gaza gas. You're going to have to forgive me for my typing because I'm typing with one hand and holding the phone with the other. So this is Gaza gas field reserves deal and so on and so on. But what I want to do is just go to Gaza gas because I've already looked at a few articles. So you want to find something prior to October 7th, and this is June 18th, 2023. 
which states, Israel gives nod to Gaza marine gas development, wants security. So go ahead and look that up. And let me just share one more. And I want to find the one from the UN. Because the UN is a little bit more legit than, say, an article. So let's say UN Conference Trade Development. And what's going to pop up is this one right here. This is what I was looking at earlier. The unrealized potential of Palestinian oil and gas reserves. And let me just click it. To show you the importance of it so as you see this is what a few years old so it's prior to october 7th so it says oil and natural gas resources in the occupied palestinian territory could generate hundreds of billions of dollars for development so right here this is the lottery ticket that i was referring to in the video generate hundreds of billions of dollars should have highlighted dollars as well and that's the lottery ticket this is what hamas is fighting for and this is what israel is fighting for and muslims and jewish adherents don't know this they think they're fighting for their religion and they are just pawns so let me read this a sentence or so. So it says, geologists and resources economists have confirmed that the occupied Palestinian territory lies above sizable reservoirs of oil and natural gas wealth. There you go. So I just wanted to share that. Go ahead and research on your own and figure it out. So just sharing. Slam.